It's 2018! We're living in the goddamn future! Elon Musk is forcibly willing self-driving cars into existence. God, I drank so much caffeine! But then you think to yourself, my computer crashes when I play Fortnite sometimes. Do I really want that same technology controlling my two-ton death machine as I barrel down the highway at 80 miles an hour? So I was thinking, after I drank the caffeine, what people really want in a driverless car. And you don't want Jeff Bezos' uploaded consciousness dictating where you want to go. No, what you want is the ability to not focus on the road to not have to hold your arms on that steering wheel or keep your foot on the accelerator or be fucked to hit the brake when a small child wanders out in the street. But the catch is, you still want to be in control of the car, don't you? Lazy piece of shit. And that's honestly fine because generally human beings are pretty safe, pretty good drivers. It's usually never the human's fault when an accident occurs. And so the solution became so clear, so painstakingly obvious, it's not self-controlled cars. It's mind-controlled cards. <laughs> yep, that's, um, that's what we're doing today. Now look, I know what you're thinking. In fact, I'm thinking it too. Michael, you're an asshole. There's no such thing as a mind-controlled car. In fact, there's no such thing as mind control, right? Sorry, fucko, you're one for two. There is such a thing as mind control, sort of. Remember those Star Wars Force Trainer toys that were being sold a few years ago? I always thought that those were garbage, but as it turns out, these headsets actually contain a NeuroSky EEG chip, which, through electroencephalography, reads different brainwaves. So it might sound like insane voodoo magic, but different brainwave frequencies tend to mean different things. Brainwaves between 8 hertz and 12 hertz tend to mean that you are more focused. Brainwave frequencies between 16 and 31 tend to mean you're a little more calm, a little more meditative. And this particular EEG chip reads both of those. Those are alpha and beta waves. So am I going to be able to think about my car turning right and it's just gonna magically turn right? No, of course not. But being able to focus and have my car accelerate sounds like an awesome step forward in the world of brain-controlled cars. All right, so I got the headset on, don't laugh, so we can see exactly what those brainwaves look like. I'll show you how I parse the brainwave data coming from the headset. And don't worry, I hear you guys loud and clear. I'm not gonna include any code. I know it's boring for you, so don't worry. Fuck you, here's the code! Do you honestly think I listen to what my audience says? And this is actually just the Arduino brain library that I ported for C-sharp. But the charting and like focus detection algorithms, uh, I did those. I'm not really gonna get into it because that bores even me, but all it does is read the data coming from this and display it on the screen. So here's the software. Now if I turn the headset on, you should start to see my alpha values or focus values appearing on the screen. There they are right there. And a really interesting number to pay attention to is this full focus average number. Now even as I start talking, um, you're gonna see it start to go up because I'm focusing on talking to the camera. So that's really cool and like if I zone out it'll drop pretty drastically. So that's the number we're gonna be using to gauge when we should make the car accelerate. As an example, I have a light on an Arduino and I'm going to turn it on using just focus. All right, I'm gonna try really hard to unfocus so that it detects like spikes in focus. Shouldn't be hard for a person like me. And focus. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I bet I could hook this up to my lights. All right, we got Arduino attached to brain software, attached to relay, attached to lighting extension cord. Never do this. Never do anything this dangerous. I'm allowed to do this because I make videos and put them on the internet, but never ever do this. All right, I wired it so my lights should turn off when I focus. Just give me a second to zone out. Turn off. <laughs> That's so sick. All right, awesome. I'll just clickbait the shit out of that. Control lights with your brain, question mark? Top 10 YouTubers who have used mind control. That's it, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Just kidding. Uh, I upload like once a decade, so I kind of feel obligated to hook this up to a car. So the thing is I'm visiting my family on Maui right now. Uh, so my piece of shit car is on a different island. Um, so what I did was borrow my dad's piece of shit car and just didn't tell him what I was doing with it. Uh, it looks like this. What? We're here at the windiest fucking parking lot we could find on the island of Maui. We chose this specifically because we have the ocean behind us. So if I lose control of the car, we have you know the nice soft depths of the ocean to cushion uh, any crash. So that's really nice. I don't know where I was going with this. What was I saying? 
All right, so all the components are here. You got the Arduino, which is communicating with my computer back there in the back seat, which is communicating with the headset. The Arduino is gonna tell a relay in here to tell a solenoid here to engage this piston here to accelerate the car. All right, we have an electronic kill switch in case stuff goes bad. Uh, we also have a mechanical kill switch, which is my right leg kicking out the piston. So we're kind of set in terms of safety. Uh, also, I'm not wearing a helmet because it would block the, uh, the mind reading headset, so safety third, kids. So the solenoid has a manual button, and I can show you what it looks like when the piston engages. So if I hit this button, uh, you can see the piston engaging down there. Um, it's not attached to the accelerator because I don't want to um, fly into the ocean right now. That can be in the next video though. But we'll attach the piston to the accelerator when we're ready to drive with our brains. Ah, oh, we don't need to strap that in. Yeah, that's probably fine. This is all right. Uh, uh, fucking extension cord. What the hell is it? Where are you? Is it on my ass? <laughs> it was. Alright, so this is what it's gonna look like when we accelerate with the blank. Oh, just like that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That doesn't seem dangerous at all, right, Jeremy? This is dumb. <laughs> Do you wanna just. I can just. I'll drive it. I can just test drive it with like the manual thing first, just to see if that works. That sounds pretty fun. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna try manually driving with the piston. No mind control right now, just to test out how things work. I'm not gonna put my foot on the accelerator at all. Um, there wasn't any room to do that anyways. I'm just gonna drive with the manual piston control. It's in reverse. Shoot! <laughs> 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 all right, I'm gonna put it in drive. This is just coasting, and if I hit the piston... <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit sensitive, but that's fine. I think really that's what we want, if anything. Let me just do this thing. Oh my god, that is so difficult to control. Boy, that's a lot of dust. That's a lot of dust. <laughs> kind of fun. Oh no, I don't have my seatbelt on. I forgot safety was our number three priority. <laughs> I think it, I feel like it goes without saying to never in a million years try this at home. Whether or not you have the means to do it, it seems like a terrible idea. I think we should, we're ready to try controlling with the brain now. Yeah, yeah, it's about brain time. Uh, I'm just gonna cruise on to the park because I don't want to hit the button. Okay, that was um stressful. So now, I mean, the only logical thing to do is with the brain, right? Like we, yeah, okay. yep. all right, shooting. All right, sounds good to me. All right, got the software running on my computer. Um, I think we're all about ready to try accelerating with the brain. Um, let's just wait for some of the focus values to like pop up in the red. Oh, stop! Oh, fucking kill switch! The focus threshold looks like maybe a little too low, so maybe we'll make that higher. Wow, the kill switch, kill switch came in handy that time. I'm glad I put that in. Yeah, yeah, it was a one pump chump, but then with the mind, it was like it, it just kept going. So, oh, you can even hear the real entry if you listen hard enough. Um, that would be me flying across this, um, across the parking lot right now. But fortunately, I turned the car off and turned. Oh, put the kill switch. All right, so I lowered, no, no, I raised the threshold of what it takes um, to constitute a focus trigger for it to hit the accelerator. That was a little harsh. That was a little low. I didn't concentrate very hard at all, and it just kind of took off. All right, so everything's good to go. Looks like, oh wait, why is it not triggering? It said that it was, oh, the kill switch is off. All right, trying it again with, uh, with a slightly higher focus threshold value. Uh, let's just wait for some of those values to propagate across the graph. And then, okay, I gotta relax. And then focus! Oh, yes, yes! Oh my god, yes, it worked! Whoa, stop! Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god, it actually fucking worked! What? I'm just trying to zone out right now. Focus! Drive! 
Oh my god, it's actually fucking working! Are you kidding me? Calm down, calm down, calm down. I might have to throw the kill switch if it turns on on a turn. Nope, we're good. Okay, cool, awesome. Oh, stop, 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 stop. This is working way fucking better than I thought it would! That was... That was like, that was way more effective than I thought it would be. Um, you want to do one with you in the car? Uh, uh. Compromise. I don't think Jeremy wants to die behind the wheel, so we're going to put the headset on him. So it's going to be his brain controlling the accelerator, and I'm going to be controlling the brakes and steering. Does that sound good to you, camera man, Jeremy? <laughs> good. 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 <laughs> All right, Jeremy, you got a headset on. How are you feeling about this one? Pretty good? Sure, I'm not behind the wheel. Still in the car. You got the brakes, I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all that's left is to start the car. I'm gonna put it in drive, and we can you can click that little checkbox whenever you're ready, Jeremy. So it's all you. Good thoughts, Jeremy. Think good thoughts. Thought. <laughs> it, it measures spikes in focus, so if you like defocus yourself and then oh. really concentrate, just like zone out as much as, don't fucking close your eyes. No. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah. Jeremy, unfocus. Oh, no, no, no. no, 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 don't panic because that's more focus. Oh. <laughs> Can't flip the kill switch. <laughs> yeah. Um, we do have to restart the software though because the kill switch doesn't work. Oh, you look. Like looking at different things kind of change focus too. Sometimes there's little spikes where it'll just actuate for like a millisecond and then not do anything. Oh, ba focus. slow battery. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Take us around one more time, cameraman Jeremy. <laughs> Good focus, cameraman Jeremy. Now stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> It's really hard while you're panicking. <laughs> All right, that was a pretty, that was a good experience. I flipped the kill switch, right? All right. Okay, um, that's enough of that. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, I feel like, oh, how do I ask for subscribers without sounding like an asshole? Smash that subscribe. Smash that subscribe button. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>